What's up, family? This is Dr. Baruch of E Life Restaurant, and how I create peace is by creating unity. And any techniques or any rituals that you can share? I would say decreasing the significance of some of the things that have kept us from coming together in my mind and overcoming those and not allowing them to be barriers to me saying, you know what, regardless, you know, you're my brother, you're my sister, mm -hmm. and we're in this together. And we, in order for me to win, I need to heal this relationship. In order for us to win as a community, we have to come together and build. So unity is a really important part of this, this uh, peace that we want to create in my mind, that we want to create for ourselves. We have to become more unified. And as we become more unified, peace will manifest itself because we're going to see each other as, as self. And, and therefore, I can't harm you if I'm trying to be unified as you. If, if I'm trying to be you, I can't harm you. So I'm real excited about, uh, you know, moving forward in that space and understanding the importance of unity. Regardless, I don't care what somebody says, what somebody did, how much somebody harmed you. I still, I can put all that aside and say, you know what? But there's still more value today going forward in us being unified. Mm -hmm. And how do you, do you share any of these ideas with your children? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We share those ideas as, as foundational building blocks with them, understanding that that's your brother. You know, and, and you all have to have a relationship. You all have to be unified. Otherwise, you all are going to be broken down. The system is going to break you down. The, your, your classmates are going to break you down. But if you all are together, then they always know, okay, well, when, when you mess with one, you know you mess with both of them. So you <laughs> be careful, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know he got a big brother, you know, and so on. So we, we, we teach that. We teach the power of of our coming together. I think, you know, we've read in the book where two or more gathered in my name, I'm there also. And I think, I think the unification of us is that, that embodiment, that unification is the creation or manifestation of this, this other thing. So as we become more unified, we actually manifest this uh, extraterrestrial, this, this, this power that we, we give honor and praise to and we pray to, we manifest that when we come together as brothers and sisters. Are you able to impart that to people who work here at the restaurant with you? Sure. Yeah. And, and making them understand how our working together and how I work together with, you know, just a couple of people when we first opened this restaurant. But the unification that was present there allowed us to build a foundation that now we are standing on to this day. And that unification is goes beyond just uh, serving food, but understanding that we're, we're giving people life. You know, we're giving people hope. We're, we're changing people's health paradigms. We're changing people's lives. We're changing their their financial outlay because now they're not going to have to put out as much money towards their their whatever. And and now I'm able to hire more people because those people now see the value of an everlasting life in their community. So community, so that common unity that exists amongst us, recognizing that everlasting life is not just a restaurant. Everlasting Life is a cultural hub. It's a, it's a community uh, a gathering place where we come together, share ideas, build one another up, and, and go forward and make some great things happen in the universe. And I talk to them as my staff. I say, you all recognize that you all are therapists. So when people come in here, it doesn't matter. They, they got attitudes, they upset, they mad at somebody in the car that they just got out, they mad with somebody they're on the phone with right now. You have to still recognize that we are therapists. We have to give these people the food, not only the food that's gonna feed their bodies, but the food that's gonna feed their souls so that they can leave out of here and be a better person. Mm, thank you, thank you. You wanna give a shout out to your, your e Life Restaurant, established in 1995 by yours truly, to provide a viable food source to communities disserved and underserved. And we continue to do that to this day. And uh, we are, are manifesting this expansion that, you know, many of you who are in the D.C. Metro metropolitan area and eat plant-based, you all know we've been in this location in Capitol Heights for 23 years. Well, now we are manifesting this yet again. We're creating a new location just 500 feet away where we are going to have another 25-year run of healing our community. And as much as you would think that, wow, you know, all these new, you know, plant-based restaurants, all this new vegan food that's being offered, you know, it, at some point it becomes overcrowded and boom, 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 you get lost. I said, no, 
you know, we don't get lost because Tico Wells doesn't come into uh, somebody else's restaurant and do an interview like this. And, <laughs> and, and Ashra Kwesi doesn't come do a lecture. And, and Tony Browder and, and, and uh, Shahazad Ali and Dr. Drew Pukram and I could go on and on and on are not people that come to that restaurant when they come into town or have a lecture, a workshop, seminar, or in communication with the owner of that restaurant giving me instruction as to what I need to do to one, protect myself, but also continue to build and move forward supporting the community's desire to be healthy. Beautiful, beautiful. How can they get in touch? 9185 Central Avenue is where we are now here in Capitol Heights. We'll be at 9033 in, uh, in one month. We'll be in our new location. The website is eliferestaurant.com. You can find us there. Also, Elife Restaurant out on social media platforms. All of them, it's Elife Restaurant. You can catch us there. I'm Dr. Baruch. You can also find me on social media. DrBaruch.com uh, is uh, my website, but also on social media, Dr. Baruch. And uh, yeah, we uh, for those of you who are local and want to grab something to eat tonight, it's 301-324-6900, extension 12. And uh, you can find out what we got going on and come on out and join the family see Brother Tico, and see what it is that we have established, because there's something special about this place. There's something special that all the other buildings, all the other businesses that were here have all closed, and we're still here. And if you, if, if, you know, if you pan out into the parking lot, you would see it's a parking lot full of cars, and ain't but one business that's here. It's Everlasting Life. And all those folks in them cars coming in here are doing business with Everlasting Life. So again, we're very thankful. We've been blessed. We take it as no small thing. We also take the responsibility of uh, knowing that we're, we're affecting people's lives in a positive way. And that's not a small thing. You know, I'm feeding. I have touched more lives than probably most people do over the course of their life. I've literally, I'm literally the cells in their body understand their relationship to this restaurant. They are connected to me for the rest of their life. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm always here for you. Don't ever think that I'm not. Please don't hesitate to call. Peace. All right. Thank you.